Why would I get up on the roof, you say? Bigger than what I have in my house that is gonna separate over time with the water and moisture. Shows you some of the quality that they're using because these aren't the biggest. So, you know, you can't really hang much here. That's my verdict. We're here today at Alexandria Camping Center to check out the all new 2021 Reflection 150 Series 280 RS. This is a brand new layout for 2021. This is about a 28 foot of living space. The uh, 2021 model comes with a painted front cap, turning point kingpin on this unit is standard equipment. This is designed to link up with a short bed half ton truck and not having to need a conventional traditional slider hitch. So this changes the pivot point back. We install a wedge, undo the lag bolts, and then you don't need to worry about it. It's always active. You don't need to unlock no slider mechanism or have that extra weight in the back of your half ton pickup. So really nice standard equipment. Storage in the front. This is where you would put your battery and then you have quick release pins on the landing gear. Comes equipped with four point ground control. So this is an auto level system that you can link up with the Compass Connect app and use your phone, or you can hit that button on the side under the gooseneck or in the pass-through storage. We'll show you that after. Pass-through storage on the door side here has one big uh, slam latch door with the magnet latch and then all the way through unobstructed, a little light so you can see what you're doing, battery disconnect. Then we have aluminum steps. This year they've integrated a new component from Lippert which is a solid stance that basically allows you to come in contact with the ground at the campsite. So that way the bottom step isn't springy, it's a lot more solid. And then you get that nice big grab handle to help you get up into the coach. Nitro fill tires. It's nice to see a brand name on the foundation here. This is a newer thing and they still got the lion's head 521 warranty. So basically you have one year, no questions asked. You get two years of roadside assistance and five year warranty on those tires. So here is the outside entertainment and kitchenette style combo. You have a 110 refrigerator spot here where you can hook up a nice blender to get your favorite cocktail going on the weekend. You got a TV so you can watch the football game or NASCAR on the weekend. And then you got some storage with a little bungee net so things don't fly around when you travel. And this is all on a strut assisted door. And then that tucks away like such. And then you can lock it up. Moving around to the back of the coach, we got a ladder to help you get up on the roof. Why would I get up on the roof, you say? Well, manufacturers suggest every 90 days you should inspect your seals. So that's a good place to start up on the roof. This is a full walk on deck, 16 on center. It's a crowned roof, so the water's not gonna accumulate up there. And it's a 12 year warranty on a one piece Alpha Systems TPO membrane. On that roof, a lot of action. There is a solar prep from the factory. So if you wanted to add solar panel, the install time is drastically cut down because Grand Design sets that up up there. As well as they have a new wine guard, aerial kind of antenna that does Wi-Fi and your digital signal to your television. On the back here, you have a Furion backup camera preparation which is a nice little option if you wanted to add a Bluetooth enabled camera to your rig if you're traveling a lot. And then you have LED lights all the way around the coach inside and outside. So really nice visibility when you're on the highway and it's getting dark. A little spray port off the back here. So it comes with a coiled up blue hose with a garden nozzle. So that's great for when you get up back from the beach and you want to clean off the feet or you just want to have some water by your cooking area on the campsite. Two inch receiver, great for bike racks and four pin wiring. So you could even tow a little boat. You just got to make sure you correspond to the proper length limits in your state or province. Exhaust for the furnace and hot water, which is really well thought out putting it on the opposite door side so it's not under your canopy on your door side while you're camping. 
Another nice baggage door slam latch. Nautilus water management system. This is one of my favorite things about the Reflection product. It's just a great central location for everything to do with your dumps, for your gray and black. All your valves are above grade, so they're not gonna rust and corrode over time. Nice and clean as well, so you're not having to bend under the slide by the axle and pull all these gate traps that are hidden. And then through this system, you can do dry camping. Uh, city water hookup, winterized, sanitized, power tank fill. So you would just toggle these things in the proper direction to correspond with that nice little picture. Water pump, hot and cold for the outside uh, shower. Cable prep, and then your city water and your black tank flush system. So that's a sprayer that's built into that black holding tank to help clean it out when you're dumping really nice and then you got a 110 outlet and you got a hook up for an outside tv if you want to put another one on this side even though there's one over there there's your monitor for the brains of the auto level system so you can do it off this little lcd screen your telephone with the compass connect app or right on the front here with that little switch that says auto level pretty cool when we want to look at weights this is a 150 series so it's typically targeting a half ton series of truck but you want to make sure you have the proper half ton okay folks 10995 is the gvwr so you want to have something obviously that's going to correspond to that over 11,000 pounds of uh, towing capacity dry weight 8500 pounds so you know cargo capacity at around 2400 which is a great uh, setup for that well-equipped half-ton truck. I really like it. You got 30 pound bottles for propane, one on each side with the auto switch over regulator. That's gonna feed your entire coach so you can run your, you know, fridge, your stove. What do you think? Comment below. I love it. Thumbs up. Let's go inside to show you some of the refinements in the beautiful new 280. We're on the inside of the 280 RS. So brand new layout as we spoke about earlier. This is kind of similar to the 295 RL, but it is flip-flop. It's very uh, spacious in here. It's nice and open and airy, lots of windows. Big island, which is great for the chef away from home. This is great to prep and to do all your dishes and everything with this nice big stainless sink high rise faucet with the little sprayer built in. And then you got this little thingy that is fun to roll. And that's great for rinsing vegetables or just drying some dishes over the sink. I like the countertops on here. They're not doing a solid surface, so it's not adding all kinds of extra weight to the unit, but they are a seamless countertop. So it doesn't have any T-mold edged in that is gonna separate over time with the water and moisture and temperature change. In the island, there's also some storage underneath the sink, three drawers, all ball bearing drawer glides and solid wood construction. Love the looks and the feel inside the reflection product, not only outside, but inside. You get this nice modern style of um, grayish tone cabinet door with all hidden hinges throughout the coach. And then you got your Furion range, little lights built in like such little oven and a three burner cooktop under this glass recessed top and then you got a nice oversized microwave bigger than what i have in my house so you could pop two bags of popcorn if you want eight cubic foot two-way dometic fridge so this is a two-door unit still two-way so running on gas and electricity you know we're seeing a lot of units with residential fridges or 12 volt fridges even so this is the traditional two-way fridge so you got your temperature control here and the, the gas function or 110 function. This here is part of the um, standard equipment on the foundation of Coach, which is a TPMS. It is a tire pressure monitor system and it's from Lippert and that is standard equipment on this reflection. So really cool. Moving into the living area, you have Thomas Paine theater seating, which are very comfortable and they're reclining. So you can hang out and, you know, watch a flick on a rainy day if you like, or in the evening. And then you have heat massage and LED lights built in with cup holders and a little storage so you can put your favorite treats or just the remote controls to the um, tele. Fireplace just below. This gives you some electric heat. It's not to make s'mores or anything. You can get just get some ambiance with the light or you can run heat, take out the chill in the early morning or in the evening if it's getting cooler. It's about 5,000 BTUs of heat. Your television is a smart TV 
on a swing arm. So if you need to watch a cooking show while you're prepping your dinner, or you just wanna lay back on the couch, you can get that perfect viewing angle. And there's a Jensen media system behind this door. So that runs all your media. And also you can hook up your cell phone via Bluetooth. And then you got some more storage, two big cabinets there, and some little smaller cabinets on both sides there. A spot where you can put, you know, a little cable uh, satellite receiver type thing. The blackout roller shades, which are standard equipment on the Reflection series. So these have these little pull thingies that help you pull them up and down. These are great for when we're taking pictures and keeping the lighting good. But it's also great for you when you're camping because it's gonna keep the trailer cooler, it's gonna protect your fabrics over time, and ultimately allow you to hopefully sleep in in the morning to keep that light out. We got big sliding windows. So there is a tinted window that will, um, you know, give you a little bit of privacy. And then you've got tons of airflow on a nice day like today, it's about 20 Celsius. And we got some nice airflow coming in. And if you were to put on that fan in the kitchen, which is controlled by the little um, buttons over here by the door. So you just hit it like that. And this is a four speed fan and it has a rain sensor built in. So if it starts raining, don't worry if you had a couple too many pops, it's automatically gonna turn off folks. Gotta love technology. Look at all this storage over here. Five drawers, a couple cabinets. Oh, that's your converter. Your breakers and fuses are all hidden neatly away. I like how Grand Design does the extra just to refine it. Freestanding dinette, they call. Kind of a hybrid dinette. You let us know what you think, comment below. I kind of like it. That's my verdict. So you got a solid wood table. You got two freestanding chairs, and then you've got like a booth style bench on one side. Take this and then you could pop all kinds of goodies in there and blankets and stuff you don't want people to find like alcohol or something like that. And then you could bring it into the living room in front of the couch so your guests can put up their feet. This is all solid wood, by the way, mortise and tenon, um, Amish handcrafted cabinets with the hidden hinges. So here we have the, you know, convenience center, they call it. This has your power electric awning button. It has two slide out switches and then your ceiling light switch, tank heaters. So that's 12 volt heat pads on your holding tanks. So it extends your camping season, folks. If you want to camp in the fall, early in the spring, you're good. Water pump gas and electric hot water, your awning light and outside lights and step lights. So very cool. You can get that little code and get that Compass Connect app. And then you can also control a bunch of stuff from your cell phone. So again, technology. I really like this backsplash too. It's not tile, but it looks like tile. And it's very clean. Come on up. The upper deck to the bathroom. They call this a side aisle bath. One of the biggest highlights is a pocket door. So a pocket door is great because on an RV, oftentimes if you have a regular door, it's gonna go into the hallway. With a pocket door, it is gonna allow you to have a better flow of traffic in the hall and in the bathroom. So I like that idea. Porcelain toilet, folks. So again, residential feel, just like the shower with glass, doors i would say it's a good size it's uh, more of a square shape so it gives you nice elbow space and it gives you nice height because you have a nice skylight so that's a lot of natural light if you want to hang a towel or your swimsuit you just take this little thing vanity three drawers medicine cabinet put your towel after you wash your hands and then you got a little bit of counter space so you could you know, I don't know, ladies, get your curling iron, you know, and look behind me. We can put some towels in here. Can you see that, Dasha? No. <laughs> here, look. Look at my steady hands. And yes, another fan. That's great for ventilation. When you shower, you create steam and you want to exhaust that. Let's go to the bedroom.
The bedroom features a 6080 queen bed, and then you got some storage below the bed. And then you got a plywood deck, shows you some of the quality that they're using along with those struts. And you got big sliding windows. So it makes this bedroom just feel nice and spacious. And then you got a prep here, a backer built into the wall. So you want to put on a flick. We got USB charging so you can plug your phone. You got 110 plugs on both sides. So if you want to put a CPAP machine, you're in luck. You got some storage on the sides and overhead. All kinds of hanging space because these aren't the biggest. So, you know, you can't really hang much here but it, it's more open, so the design's better. All the hanging space you need over here. You feel that breeze? That, that is awesome. And then you've got four drawers. I think this bedroom is super functional. You know, I'm about 5'10". I have a couple inches here, um, and I'm on the step up. If I step down, you know, there's lots of space. Really excited about this 280RS Grand Design Reflection 150 series. Stay tuned for more videos. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please hit the thumbs up or the notification bell if you want to be notified when we post new creative, magical tours of our RVs here at Alexandria Camping. Thank you for watching and have yourself a wonderful day.